So, Rainbow High had some new episodes come out recently. I have an entire page of notes. At the end of season four, Sunny was revealed to have this bear crystal egg creature, and the entire fandom went insane because it didn't make any sense. It still doesn't. She just found the egg in a locker and she took care of it for the day, and then it hatched and opened this magical rainbow portal, and people weren't having it. I wasn't having it. I made a post about it on Instagram when I watched that episode. I went back to sleep, woke up, and it was real. I thought it was a dream, but no, I woke up and it was real. Normally, I can let magic kind of stuff like this slide because I'm a fan of a lot of kids media that has like magic stuff, but this was like, it had jumped a shark that was of such infinite height that it went into new galaxies to get over said shark to jump. And it still is jumping. So I'm gonna go over this atrocious nightmare of a reboot. For starters, it's kind of reminding me of the situation with Monster High, where sales went down the teeniest, tiniest bit, they rebooted the whole series, and everyone hated it. This is just it all over again. So the dolls slash characters have completely different looks. They're more polished and, like, I don't know how to express this, but they look more Barbie-like. One of the core elements of Rainbow High is that it wasn't Barbie. Heck, they had a whole Barbie parody song in the third season that absolutely slapped. That was more of just a style thing, not really a story thing, but I wanted to bring it up anyways. So, Sunny comes through the portal, asks everyone else to come through the portal, they come through the portal, no questions asked, and... Miss Morton is there, and this is so ridiculous. They're magical girls, and their job is to bring confidence to the people of this rainbow world. That is what it's called. That is what this new series is called. Not Rainbow High, Rainbow World. This is reminding me a lot of Star Darlings. And then they all get their own egg creature, but they have to bond with it first to make it hatch, because that's how you make real life eggs hatch. So all the eggs hatch, except for rubies, and I just want to go over the creatures that hatched from these eggs. Also, the way to get to the portal is with your creature, so if you don't have a creature, you're screwed. And we'll get more to that in a bit. Jade literally just stares at her egg, and a monkey comes out. Not just any monkey, a green monkey with a unicorn horn. Because of course. Poppy got a unicorn cat, and I'm willing to forgive that one because it was actually pretty cute. Like, if I saw that cat on the side of the road, I would scoop it up and bring it home with me. Although, to be fair, I would do that with most cats. Violet got a poodle. Bella got Amanda the f adventurer. <laughs> Amaya got a unicorn. And my personal favorite, Skylar got a blue naked baby. I could not make that up if I wanted to. I don't know what this thing is. Part of me wants to think it's a penguin, but it's not a penguin. Ruby's doesn't hatch, so she gets upset, but her friends are like, We love you. Just believe in yourself. Then the egg hatches, and she gets what I thought was a dog. It's actually a fox. Then we're introduced to this thing called Sparkle Glow, which, when you mix with the color of the rainbow, then you can use that to spread it onto your crystal creature, and then it will open the portal, which just seems like too many steps to go through to give someone confidence. But I mean, I'm not a... What is this show? And all that, yeah. All that, that was just one episode. Before I continue, I want to say that the crystal creatures look like Littlest Pet Shop characters. Okay, so it's confirmed in this episode that Bella did get Amanda the Adventurer because she got a sheep. And they're already going through with the whole slime setup where you have to mix the sparkle glow with water. Then you put it on the creature and then the creature does the portal thing. Also, this is a whole slime gimmick that they're doing with the toys, which no one asked for and no one wanted. Bella is doing the same thing that got her expelled in the first season. She's just jumping into things without question because she just instantly opens up a portal and goes through. But she doesn't have enough sparkle glow to get back. So Sunny comes and rescues her. Then that's a whole thing. When she went to the other side of the portal, she went to the beginning of the rainbow. But it wasn't the beginning of the rainbow. It was the middle of the rainbow. And they weren't even like on the rainbow. The rainbow was still like a couple miles away. So I don't know what that was trying to do. I don't know what I was trying to do. And Sunny keeps hinting that she knows more than she's leading on. 
which is just it's kind of like a Sue situation. You're a lot more clever than you look, especially the fat one. He's talking about you. Also, the crystal creatures from the beginning of the rainbow, and that's why they went to the beginning of the rainbow when they went to the portal. He wanted to visit home. Now we go to the third episode, where they finally go on their first rainbow world mission. Ooh, ah, look at me. The girls are called the Shimmers. They're magical girls. But they're not magical girls because they don't have any magical powers. Pick a lane! Are they magical girls or are they not magical girls? It's not that hard! I don't know why I'm getting so heated about a bunch of dolls. I don't know. Oh my god, I feel like an old woman like, They changed. They did the reboot. Oh god, I feel like my mom. So they're each split up into groups of two. So the first group is Sunny and Skylar, who's having doubts about the whole shimmer thing. But too late for that, we gotta go through this portal and give some little green girl named Kira confidence! Also, I like this scene because it's just funny. As an artist, AI art has been on my radar a lot and I hate it. It is hideous. It is taking jobs away from artists who put actual passion and time into our projects. These backgrounds look AI generated. I'm not saying that for 100% that could be made by a real artist. I don't know, but I really hope they're not AI generated because that's going to make me hate the series more than I already do. So we get this green chick named Kira who is upset because she doesn't know what to wear on her first day at a new school and that's why she doesn't have any confidence. <laughs> she mentions that none of her clothes feel right and that made me think that, oh, is she trans? Are they going to address this? But no, she's not trans. She's just lost. Then they break into this really, like, look at me type song and i don't like it but i also do like it and the whole lesson of the episode is be yourself and you'll find friends i'm autistic and i try to make friends but i weird them out yeah so what do i think about all this <laughs> this is nothing like the original rainbow high from my understanding of the history of Rainbow High is that they started out as slime poopsies thing. And I actually used to have one, but the slime all dried out, so I threw it away. And it was fine, but then they went to doing dolls. Those got super successful. Then they went to dolls and slime. It does not work. I don't know why they did that, because their brand is so popular and people love it. I love these dolls. I'm 16, going on 17. I have a collection of my favorite characters as dolls, and I look at them every night and I feel joy. But I can't feel joy looking at them anymore because they got replaced by whatever these are! The designs on their own aren't bad, but compared to the original, it's like, how about we put as little effort into these designs as possible and just cover their faces in glitter? Yeah, let's do that! That'll give us more money. Spoiler alert, it won't because no one likes them. And I understand that with the original, it was getting kind of convoluted with all these schools and all these rivalries and all this student lore you had to keep up with. But that what was that's what was fun about it. Because I have never seen a kid's show that's like just a doll tie-in that has gotten so deep into its lore. That's why I like it. But now they th just throw that all out the window and replace it with magical girls who aren't magical. They rely on their magic of their creatures, which if you think about it is just exploitation. And now there's just too many rules of this universe that I have to keep track of. And if I forget one rule, then I confuse all the lore and it's like a thing like in FNAF. Like if you confuse one detail, then you get the entire lore wrong. Rainbow High is the new FNAF and I'm not ready! Rainbow High lore was simple, but I could still understand it. This has too much going on. I don't understand it. They just jump through the portal and they're a completely different style. They have completely different hairstyles. Half of them have been whitewashed. Skylar and Sunny were already pushing it on being like, okay. But now they're like, their skin is lighter. This is something that no one asked for. No one wanted any of the characters to be whitewashed. We wanted more black characters. More characters of different sizes, colors. And I don't... Then you just give us these? What if we give you the exact same seven dolls? Whitewash half of them and water down their original designs. How about you give us new characters who are racially diverse? Get out. That's what they're doing! When I was young, I didn't think that as a 16-year-old I would get so upset about the way that these dolls were changed. But here I am, with no life, talking about the, how these dolls changed. Oh my god. And what the heck is Skylar?
Tyler's pet. I know I could look at the dolls and find out. You know what? I'm going to do that now. I have essays that are due when I get back from spring break. I have stuff that I need to study that I haven't studied because it's spring break and I've just been letting myself up a hook. I could be doing that instead, but instead I'm looking up what Skylar's naked baby thing is. God, and now the original dolls are going for like $60. It's a Yeti? No way. There's no way it's a Yeti. Look, this, this listing on Target says Rainbow High, Skylar Blue with Slime Kit and Pet 11-inch Shimmer Doll with DIY Sparkle Slime, Magical Yeti Pet, and Fashion Accessories. There's no way this thing is a Yeti. I refuse. This is not a Yeti. It's it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. This thing is not a freaking Yeti. So I'm on the Rainbow High Wiki, and apparently one of the trivia facts is that it is challenging to remove the glitter from their faces. No, sh Her f***ing pet is a Yeti. It's a f***ing Yeti. What world am I living in where we are allowing a small child to have a Yeti that can store slime in its butt? That came out wrong. I hate this reboot. I hate these characters. These are not my Rainbow High characters. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna do an outro for this video. I'm so done with this shit.